Astronaut Nicole Mann is set to become the first Native American woman in space after waiting nine long years for her chance to go. I'm extremely excited. It, ha it has been a, a long journey, but it's been so well worth it. Three, two, On October the 3rd, 2022, she will lead NASA's Crew-5 mission to the International Space Station. While John Harrington was the first Native American astronaut to make it to space in 2002, Mann would be the first woman to break that barrier. Uh, you know, to be honest, I think I feel very proud. Uh, it's important that we uh, you know, celebrate our diversity and really communicate that specifically to the younger generation. Because I know there's kids out there that live, you know, perhaps in a community where there are barriers. And I want them to know that these barriers are being broken down or can be broken down. You know, in the same breath, operationally here at NASA, it's really great to be able to say it really doesn't matter, right? Our astronauts are trained across the board uh, and qualified for missions. And so we're really getting to a point in our kind of evolution as, as a society that operationally, we don't highlight or distinguish um, based on gender or race or religion, we uh, distinguish based on your ability to execute the job. Man is a member of the Wailaki of the Round Valley Indian tribes in Northern California. She says that her upcoming mission has sparked excitement in her community. I still live in Northern California area where the Round Valley tribes are located. Um, and there's been, you know, what's really neat is a lot of interest from these news outlets and from these sources from the Native American um, outlets. And that's really, I think, an audience that we don't get an opportunity to, to reach out to very often. Mann is a Marine Colonel with a Master's in Mechanical Engineering. She was recruited into NASA in 2013 and finished candidate training two years later. She's also a former fighter pilot who flew combat missions in Iraq and Afghanistan, making her an experienced candidate for the stress and unpredictability of a manned space mission. The Crew-5 mission will follow the beginning of NASA's landmark Artemis mission. NASA's giant next-generation rocket on its debut test flight will kick off the agency's Artemis Moon to Mars program 50 years after the end of the Apollo era. Mann says that she and her crew will be helping to prepare for a long-haul manned flight that will be critical to the success of Artemis. Yeah, I really think it's fun and important to tie in our launch going to low Earth orbit and how that's a really big part of the Artemis mission with the launch of SLS and Orion on Monday, which I know you guys are aware of. Uh, that's going to just, I mean, it's going to capture the world, right? It's incredible. We've been working on this for such a long time and it's always been just a, a kind of a far future concept in my mind. And so what we're doing in low Earth orbit uh, not only trains the astronauts, but provides the technical uh, development and the operational concepts that we're going to need to live sustained human presence on the moon and eventually take us to Mars.